Do you know about your hell? Do you know about your body? Do you know what to do and how to do it health-wise? Can you live a healthy life? Can we have healthy children? This is not Weight management is a long-time approach to a healthy lifestyle. On today's show, we'll be discussing more on weight management. And I have here with me a nutritionist from the Lagos State Ministry of Health, Mrs. Adams. Thank you for coming, ma. Thank you. It's nice to be on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. And beside Mrs. Adams, I have Dr. Abiodun Habram. She is the Chief Medical Consultant and Director of Flax Medical. Thank you so much for coming, ma. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank it's great so to be here. Much. Thank you very much, ma. And we're still here on HealthWise. Don't touch that bell. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, question for Dr. Abiodo. What does body max index really mean? Um, that's BMI, really, yeah, isn't okay. it? Yeah. And it is um, a very good measurement of body fat. Okay. Um, obviously, the higher the BMI, the higher the risk of having serious medical problems because body fat is a very um, when a person is high um, when people start um, gaining weight okay. they do have risks of medical problems okay. so it is a, a way you measure fat so it, it's a, a mathematical equation which I'm going to um, speak about okay. I'm going to write it okay. uh, but the the real thing about um, BMI is that the bigger the BMI, the more the risks of mm. um, cholesterol problems, heart problems, the more the risks of um, heart attacks, mm. hypertension, mm. diabetes, and things like that. So let's yes. talk about the standard of BMI in all categories of age. Well, it's their numbers. Okay. Um, and the calculation is weight over height times height. Would you like me to yeah. demonstrate let's it? Let's do that. Now, please, a round of applause for Dr. Abiodun. Now, let us uh, imagine that you have a man or a woman who is 100 kilograms, because BMI, like I said, is weight over the height times the height. Mm -hmm. Imagine a man is 100 kilograms. So we're going to calculate it. So the man is 100 kilograms, and that is his weight. And then it is divided by the height. So assuming the person is 2 meters, mm -hmm. it is going to be 2 times 2. So the BMI is 100 over 4, which means the BMI is 25. Mm. Now, let us assume, I'm going to give another picture. Let's assume the person is 200 kilograms. So 200 kilograms. And the same height. So which is 2 times 2. And so when I calculate it, it is 200 divided by 4 and the BMI is 50. Now the normal BMI is 18.5 to 24.9. Wow. That is the normal BMI, 18.5 to 24.9. So I'm going to... So 18.5 to 24.9 is normal. Anything under 18.5 is underweight. So when you are 18.5 to 24.9, you are a normal BMI. Now, if you move onwards from 25 to 29.9, we are moving into what is called overweight. If you then move further, 30 to anything over 30, 30 plus, 
we are moving into the mm. obese range. Mm. So actually, these are the in measures of BMI. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. A round of applause for Dr. Abiodun. Mm. Thank you so much. Now, Mrs. Adams, what combination of food is recommended, not just for infants, adults, in all age brackets, what food would you recommend in order to maintain a proper weight management? Uh, for proper weight management, you should be looking at adequate diet. Okay. And, and a diet is adequate when it contains all the food groups. And it also means the recommended dietary allowance for individuals in relation to the age, height, sex, and your social life. Okay. So when you think of an adequate um, diet, you should be thinking of having all the food groups in your meal. And these groups are, you have um, the staples, which are grains, tubers, and roots. Um, the second group is the, pro is the protein, either dairy or lean uh, protein. Then you have the fruits and vegetables, and also fats, sugars, and um, sweets, generally. And when you look, uh, allow the food guide pyramid to guide your meal, it has its portion size. Like for the, uh, for the staples, you are required to have 6 to 11 servings. Okay. A serving is tea, uh, 4 teaspoons. So for that category, mm -hmm. it's 6 to 11 servings. Then when you go to fruits, it's 2 to 4 servings. Okay. Then um, vegetables, 3 to 5 servings. Mm -hmm. Then when you come to um, dairy, is two to three servings, and also lean protein is two to three servings. Then at the peak of the pyramid, you have sweets, sugar, fats, and oil. You are expected to eat it sparingly mm. in moderation. And also when you think of adequate diet, you should be looking at um, unsaturated fats, mm. plant sorts, because this controls your weight. Mm. The more calories you have, but it differs with the age category. Like for the um, adolescents and teenagers, the expected uh, kilocalorie intake is 3,000 for male. Okay. While it is 2,100 for female. Mm. The same thing applies from 23 years to 50, um, f um, 50 years. For male, it's 2,700 kilocalorie dietary intake, daily allowance. And for female, it's 2,000. And from 50 upwards, mm. it is 2,400 for male and 1,800 kilocalorie for the female. And for the sedentary lifestyle people, the retirees, the elderly people, mm. you are expected to have an intake of 1,500 kilocalories mm. per day.